residents of the San Diego Zoo gave mixed reviews to this latest storm. The flamingos found the rain-soaked soil a perfect place for grazing, but King Tut, the zoo's official greeter, took the day off. Blueberry the blue bear is native to rainforests, so a San Diego drizzle wasn't worth much notice. But the koalas were snug in a heated house. They're too susceptible to colds to stay out in the rain. One lone prairie dog stuck his head out of a hole to survey the situation. Presumably, he found it unsatisfactory and scurried back inside. And the elephants were definitely disturbed that the rain kept the crowds away and cut down on their supply of free peanuts. But the seals made it clear that the wetter, the better. Some parts of the zoo were closed to the public because a few weak-rooted eucalyptus seemed in danger of falling, and the animals in those areas stayed indoors, not so much to escape the showers, but because a fallen tree limb could be the perfect vehicle for escape from an enclosure. The cats and dogs were pretty poor sports about the drizzles. Lions and tigers pouted in seclusion, and it was no laughing matter to the hyena. The sparse crowds at the zoo encouraged the normally shy peacocks to come out of hiding, and even without much of an audience, the spider monkeys went through their gymnastic paces. But the owl still gave visitors the drop-dead stare, and the sun bear just couldn't care less. The peccary was as happy as a pig in mud. But a lot of the animals took the attitude that most of us would have taken if we'd had the choice, that the best thing to do was curl up in a cozy den and just wait for the storm to blow over. Carol Kendrick, News 8, the San Diego Zoo.